Hello and welcome everyone. This is Gabrielle Spencer. I am a multidimensional channel intuitive and I am here tonight for the very first showing of the revealed show. This is a show about discovering the key for you through your soul's Akashic records for what is keeping you from transforming your life. And for each one of us, transforming our life means something completely different for every single person. And for most of us, we're not even sure what that is or what that looks like. We just know that we haven't quite gotten there. So we spend an awful lot of time wondering, what is it am I supposed to do? Why am I here? Where am I going? Why is this not working out? Why is that not working out? Why do I still feel the same way? And so we spend our time almost feeling like we're spinning in circles. And so this show is dedicated to providing that next level of energy frequencies, sacred uh, frequencies and geometries and algorithms, when we step outside of this third dimensional paradigm, we are able to access not just the Akashic records of each person, but reach them at the highest level. And that is what we are going to do today for each person that has agreed to come forward I don't know anything about them, but I am planning to connect with them and to assist them with discovering the key or keys that are keeping them from transforming their life and moving forward. Also know that many times what we think is what it is we need to do. What's on your list? I need to accomplish A, B, and C, and then I can have D, right? But most of the time I have found that through your higher self, that is not actually the game plan. And that is why you are not getting where you think you need to go. Because many times your highest self, your divine plan is not in accordance with what you think your plan is. Okay. Because your plan is based on what you know and what you can imagine and what you can think that you can realize in, you know, I have this much time, therefore it has to happen by this time or that date or whatever it is, or I need it right now, or this deadline is looming. And so we tend to run our lives based on what is happening right in front of us, right? And what we think the potential for ourselves is. When we are connected through our our heart, our high heart, which is here, all the way to our highest self and all the way to our soul. And I say all the way because we haven't merged quite there yet. We're merging with our light bodies and we are bringing ourselves into wholeness and completeness, but we have not uh, re-merged with our, our soul exactly. But we are heading in that direction, right? That's how we raise our vibration is the higher and higher we raise our physical vibration as well as our energetic vibration, we are able to merge more and more of our light body self and get clearer and clearer direction from our soul or what I like to think of as our divine self, okay? So this show is dedicated to helping each one of you and those in the audience who may or may not uh, realize that they're being helped because as we do this uh, work connecting with people, there will be things triggered within you that tell you, oh my God, yes, I'm, I'm having that issue in my life and I accept this healing. So I want you to know that you have that power to accept, to say, yes, I want that healing. I want to receive because this is a very big part of healing. It's very easy for us to allow our mind and our subconscious to push away something that might help us because our mind tells us we don't need that or you're not suffering from that exactly. And so know that many times what we are, the symptom that we're experiencing is not actually the root problem. It's only getting you on 
the trail to find the root issue or the key that is keeping you from moving forward or having that peace, joy, love, abundance that you are craving, that you know you're here for, but you've been stymied in getting it. And so this is how we are going to do it. All right, everyone. So we're going to start by setting the group energy for this call, right? So we're going to start with Tia, who's up there at the top of my list. So be ready, Tia. But I want everyone, so you can take part and be together in unity of the light, of the highest vibration and consciousness. For all of us to take that deep breath in and out. In and out another time. And we ask for each one of us to be connected from our high hearts all the way through our highest self to our souls. Infusing this connection with the highest vibration of golden light to heal us, repair us, assist us for our greatest good. We call in our angels, our guardian angels and the archangels, Archangel Michael and Archangel Gabriel and any that you work with and feel comfortable with to assist us, to protect us, to share with us what is needed in the moment. And we call in the golden beings of light and the celestial masters and all those that you may work with, that you are comfortable with. Call them in now to assist. And now we are all together and we're asking for the divine blessings of the highest vibrational light to assist us to unify to bring our light together into wholeness and oneness so that we can amplify the light, the healing, the knowledge, and all the frequencies ancient and outside of this cosmos that will be required to reveal to each one of us what is needed to be revealed. Thank you. So be it, so it is, so mote it be. We got a powerhouse going on. All right, everyone, here we go. All right, so I'm going to read this really quick. Kat wrote in, yes, these are all my questions. Oh my goodness, thank you, Gabrielle. It's like you planned tonight exactly for me. That's right. It is for exactly for each one of you. That's what you will find if you are open to receive and that is the mind saying yes, but it's also, more importantly, your heart saying yes. So if you feel some resistance, then just ask for the golden beings of light and the higher vibrational beings of light that are here to assist you how you need in order to move you through that resistance. There she is. There I am. <laughs> Fantastic. Wonderful to see you. Isn't this fun? See, Thank you get you. to be, you get it to is. be on now. <laughs> it's I'm, I'm on TV. You're on TV. You're going to be on TV worldwide as soon as this goes out. Isn't that fun? All right, T, I just want you to yeah, take really. Oh, it's great fun. You know, I used to be so afraid of going out there in public. And now look at me. See? I mean, you couldn't have dragged me with wild horses to do it. And now I'm on all the time. So it gets easier. Okay. All right. So just, I want you just to close your eyes. You don't have to do anything. Okay. That's the beauty of energy work is you get to sit and just be at peace. So I just want you to close your eyes and you're not on video. Nobody's watching. It's all good. Just take a deep breath in and out. Okay. All right, my love. So right away, you are showing me that you have something right here, but it goes far outside of your neck. So it goes across, let's call it like a beam, um, like that you would use in a concrete building. It goes right here, but it comes out. Okay. <laughs> You're smiling. <laughs> are we, do you have issues? <laughs> 
with uh, speaking out or what? Why are you smiling? Tell me. Um, yeah, it's more about just keeping um, unseen. So it's more than the not yeah. speaking out. It's just my energy is being in you. hiding. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's okay because this area, that's a cutoff from all here. And notice that your high heart is here, right? And when we come more and more into our high heart, then it's easier to just be who you are and be seen and be out there without having to do anything, right? And so for you, we're going to work on this piece that is, because when it shows me that it's going uh, further out than just like your neck, like some people would say, okay, it's throat chakra, but it, it isn't. It goes all the way across. So it literally is cutting you off from your own self. So when you think to yourself, I don't want to be seen or I'm afraid to be seen or I'd rather stay in hiding or whatever it is, it's because you're not connected fully with you, which all of this work is about connecting each and every one of us within ourselves. You know, there, I used to hear often, you know, the kingdom of God is within you. It's all within you. Your power is within you. And I used to be like, stop saying that. I don't even know what that means. And so what happens is that as you move along and we release these, these issues for you, you will know what that means for you. And that's the beauty. The reason nobody can really explain it is because for each one of us, it's just about each one of us, right? So would you like to be connected to yeah. the power within you? You bet. <laughs> you know what? I'm so proud of you, Tia, for somebody who's afraid to be seen. Look at you. So proud of you. All right, sweetie. Keep your eyes closed. It's all good. All right, so here we go. Now we're going to find in the lifetimes, because it's more than one, that this energetic uh, through your neck and in your neck and uh, creating the separation, it's many, it's many lifetimes of it going on. So we're going to ask uh, for the healing to occur for you going as far back as we can. Okay. So let's everybody give it a moment. So for everyone where you feel that you haven't connected with your own power from within, just say yes. Because all of the light, the beings of light that are here can assist each one of us to heal, to release, to resolve. I hear for you, Tia, and for others, it's about resolution. And when we're in, in the midst of resolution, it means that we allow all sides, not just both sides, notice, it's all sides that created and provided conflict to create the issue that each each being each situation be provided with the equalizing frequency and energy that is needed to bring the situation into balance yes to forgive yourself as well and to ask for forgiveness from those that you influenced, affected, and impacted in a negative way. But for you, Tia, in, in particular, this goes directly now to your heart. So passing through this, this beam is this heart connection. And they're showing me, uh, like, imagine a tree root going from up here to your heart. So it's like you've had, like, um, a root that is like found its way through and around. So now we want to open the channel versus just this small straw like root that's going from your heart uh, up through that area that was blocked. So if you had felt that, you know, you were only getting a little bit of a connection and it wasn't, you know, very reliable, then the answer is this is because the these past issues were creating a problem for you okay so we're going to ask for that to be uh, resolved as well take a deep breath for me in and out 
It's very interesting. You have some very physical connections to all of this because as soon as we begin working on this, you then show me uh, down to your lower back. And so you have um, a trail almost of areas that are blocked but that are kind of connected with one another. So they're working together, but they're also um, blocked together. Like, so as soon as we clear one, you show me, okay, and then there's another one over here and another one here. So I just want you to take a deep breath. Yeah. So this is, it just means it's allowing this energy and the frequencies that are being provided to you to come in and to help resolve the blockages and the reasons that those blockages came in and we're talking about it from a soul level because these are old hurts and pains and and areas that have been the word that i hear is conflict so there have been conflict that have created these injuries within you okay let's take a deep breath we're going to allow the energy for everyone as well to provide for each person the clearing that they need for hurts and pains that are stored within your body and that are cutting off the flow of golden light and golden energy and the white light and whatever it is that you work with that let's say it could be turned up a notch right we can all use some extra light to blast ourselves all right tia how do you feel I feel, I, I guess, a, a little bit emotional just hearing about yes, a right. path of blockages. <laughs> you, know. you know what? So, Emotion and, uh, can be good. Yeah, but Let just, it come out. Don't, don't fight it. Because a lot of times the emotion is what's stored in there. I've always said mm -hmm. in many of my teachings that you know, when something gets stored, it doesn't just get stored in one place or one dimension or in one way. Unfortunately, think of any example in your current life, okay? So in your current life, let's say somebody has betrayed you, which is a really big one for all of us and it occurs, you know, we do it to people and they do it to us and it just kind of goes in a cycle, right? Well, that's an emotional issue but it gets stored in so many ways. Like I can't trust myself because I didn't, I didn't see the signs. I didn't judge that person correctly. I didn't judge the situation correctly. I didn't make the right choice. So that's just a few ways, right? You can mm -hmm. see how this compounds itself, right? And then if we do it in a lifetime in over and over, then it continues to create a bigger pain than even the origin of the pain, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so how are you feeling now? Is it clearing for you? I feel, yeah, I feel like en energized, like energy is running. Good, well, we're gonna keep like letting it run. moving through me. All right, so Tia, this is what I'm going to ask of you. So I want you to just take another deep breath and stay with the call, because I think it's really okay. important right. for people to know that while some things are instantaneous, we are dealing with the physical as well, and it's not instantaneous. It takes a little bit longer for things to work through. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. There you go. Awesome. <laughs> there we go. How are you, David? Good. Good. All right. So now you know how this is done. So I just want you to take a deep breath. It's funny, David, I feel like I know you, although I don't know you at all in this incarnation, right? Just your energy. So it tells us always, it's always fascinating when we meet people, you know, you either, you know, you, we generally have reactions to them, even if we don't realize it. And uh, some people you just recognize and you don't know exactly why. So David, you are showing me uh, I'm going to call it sort of like a monk, but more like um, 
Mm, I think that they have them in video games now. So it's like um, a high priest, but um, it's you're showing me just a shadow face, like with the hood over, but um, shadow inside. So I can't see the face. So we're going to work on this, this origin because um, what they're showing me now is, you know, when we all have roads that we get to take or choices that we get to make, and sometimes we take a right turn thinking, okay, this is where I'm supposed to go, right? It feels right. And whatever our, our answers are at the time. And I want to remind everybody, there's no judgment in healing because first, none of us know what was going on at that time. We're viewing it through our perceptions, knowledge, and understanding of our third dimensional selves most of the time. But this is not a third dimensional existence that they're showing me. This is something um, much more ancient than that. And not only that, it's not on this planet. It's very, um, God, it reminds me so much of various things, but like there is, um, if thinking back to like Star Trek kind of episodes, so think of it like a rock planet. Now we could say it could be out in Arizona, but it isn't. The, it doesn't look uh, like that terrain at all, but you're definitely outside. And I would say you're more like a weather mage or something like you're, you're in that magical class, but high priest, it's a mix of those things versus like a one thing. Right. So I would, uh, Okay, so they're telling me to equate it to um, Melchizedek's white brotherhood in that it has nothing to do with being white. It has to do with alchemy. <laughs> feels so funny to have to qualify everything nowadays, but uh, it is about alchemy, that you're a master alchemist there. Thank you. Thank you to the guys. Okay, master alchemist, what we're looking for, but... In this particular uh, scenario, let's say you went dark and therefore we have to reconcile it for you so that you can get back in alignment with your soul. Does that make sense? Mm. Say yes. Yes. Yes, it does okay. make sense. I Thank just you. got this huge wave of energy through my back and shoulders. So I was dealing yeah. with that for a second. So we're right on. I love that. Okay. So... I was just asking you to say it out loud because now for whoever's listening, not watching. Okay, good. So I just need you to uh, close your eyes because obviously, as you've mentioned, the, the work is being done and we're working on the overshadow, they tell me. I don't know what that is and it doesn't matter. What matters is that we say yes and that we let it go and make... Um, you are making amends to yourself. You're, you yourself um, have felt great disappointment. And the disappointment is in yourself, but it's, gosh, it's heavy, really heavy. So we're just going to allow who, everybody just to allow the energy and the light to come in and to heal that disparity within you. And... Um, Feel the love and the acceptance of yourself delivered from your soul through to your high heart and through every cell of your being. Take a deep breath in and out. It's getting better. I'm just going to allow that energy to clear. All right, you let me know when you're ready. No rush. Everybody that's here, remember, we're all being bathed in the light. As I said, unified, we're able to reach levels of our ancient selves and of our soul's Akashic records. So for most things that occur that are available out there, most of the people are, are able to reach let's say um, Akashic records in the seventh dimension or maybe a little bit higher some now, 
But actually your soul has many levels and layers of Akashic records, just like you have multidimensional bodies and existences. And so when we join in a powerhouse like this and why every single person that is here and taking part is so important is because as we pull this energy together and we unite it in the beginning, it allows me to be a conduit at a greater level than I could do on my own just because that's my gift, right? And so I'm given, I always think of it like a hall pass. I'm given a hall pass to go ahead and tap in as high as you yourself, each person will allow. So it's not that I can go peek in at stuff you don't want me to see. That's always a problem in healing, but we get around it. So in this particular case, we've gone to a really ancient lifetime, but it's one that's kept you from finding your path and having that um, feeling of it's not complete that's missing. It's, it's like a, this hole that was in your stomach and it now feels like I can breathe. I can, I can feel myself. So part of it is you making a reclamation of who you are. Okay. How do you feel now? Um, I feel good. I, um, you know, I've always felt the Holy Spirit in me and I, I've had the, um, energies and, and feelings like that. And I've been told I work with Archangel Azrael and work with people, helping people pass from one side to the other. And, um, had a lot of different experiences like that. And it's been really hard to feel that energy come through me and, um, not to feel like, you know, you're losing your mind because it, it comes in a, that's a huge wave that I've asked it pull back it's really hard to deal with it's like the holy spirit coming through so much so intensely sometimes yeah good so when this is cleared out then the energy just will flow through right and it won't wipe you out because that's always the problem for the healers is that the energy can take its toll on us too Right. And so it's important just to maintain the, the connection, but also to tweak it because you know how to do it. They tell me where you're not taking it in the body, but rather you're just the conduit. So that's, that's what you're going to ask for more direction or for it to be reminded to you. Cause you already know how you're a master alchemist. You already know how, <laughs> so, which is cool. Okay, and now it will work even more than it did before, even better than it did before. Because, okay, so going back to Melchizedek's White Brotherhood, that's why they used it. Because that's, that's part of your incarnations. But there's, there was a time when that didn't go so well. And that happens to all of us. We've all had to reconcile uh, areas where, like I said, we took a right turn instead of a left or a left instead of a right, and we got on the wrong on the wrong path and still have to to reconcile it about angel azaro and so he was supposed to be in charge of heaven and then um he left out of i mean he he was supposed to be a fallen angel azaro but i I believe he left out of heaven to save the rest rest of the souls he thought that they had been deemed beyond um repair and redemption so he actually left out of heaven and left his post in heaven and to save the other souls. And I don't know if that's true or not. And I was wondering if what you had to say about that. We should have a conversation after <laughs> the show. Uh, there's a lot to say. I've learned a lot about the angels that um, were sent from heaven, out of heaven, and uh, were fallen, basically, for lack of a better. Now, everyone who has that connection that you have, then there will be a lifetime that needs to be uh, sorted for you with that, okay? Because most people probably who will ever listen to this show or take part of it, we're the ancients, each one of you who is here. You're an ancient. There's just no other way because most everybody else doesn't even understand what we're talking about. 
they're like, you people are crazy, of course, or like you've really gone off the deep end because they don't understand that original separation as it's taught in many religions isn't about one separation. It's about all the lifetimes that we have separated our own selves from our own source, which is our soul and God, right? And so that happens repeatedly in many, many different ways. But the more ancient a soul, the, the let's call it the more ancient the separation. And you were doing completely di different things at that level than you are right now in this third dimensional existence. And we are here, in my opinion, to reclaim those aspects of ourselves to be successful in the mission of shifting ourselves, transforming ourselves into higher vibration again, and helping this planet to achieve what it needs to achieve and the people that are meant to achieve it as well. And that's, you know, we have mission success by doing it for ourselves and helping others to do it. That is actually, in my opinion, why we are here. And that's, we come back to redeem ourselves and to help everyone else do the same thing. That's pretty much my interpretation. So I'll be happy to chat with you about it uh, more, David, um, after, because that's going to be a soul retrieval issue. Okay. Thank you. Is that good? No, All right. You keep letting the energy go. No, I, yeah. Well, I thank you for letting me get out all that information. I don't think I really ever talk about it on any shows because it's kind of really deep, but I really, that's my passion is doing this kind of work. You know, the stuff that really transforms your life. Well, it's amazing when you feel like you've like died and come back and your energy and of your relation to life changes and um and how how i deal with it i mean just life real mundane things that people get upset about it just seems silly these days it's, it's because like, we can't look outside of ourselves it's in here thank you, thank you david so everybody's doing great wonderful awesome i want to hear before we go to shelly here I want to hear everyone in the audience what you've gotten out of this so far. What is it that came to you while we were doing the work on David and Tia? Okay, just because it'd be really exciting to know, right? I'm glad you think it's amazing, Sandra. It's so much fun. All right, so my dear, deep breath. So we're going to do some work really quick, Shelly, to... Uh, remove a hindrance, okay, that's interfering. And then once we do that, then I will uh, dive deeper for you, okay? Can you just give me a minute? Just keep your eyes closed. So for everyone as well, so we're going to work now on energies and entities that are interfering, influencing, and affecting us on multidimensional levels and even outside the cosmos that we may not be aware of, but that they're definitely, uh, I'm going to say tinkering with, they are uh, doing their best uh, to interfere, to keep us from moving forward on our path, to keep us um, from achieving what it is we know we're meant to achieve. And so it's these entities and energies that um, can cause a lot of problems, even when they're not um, exactly, let's say, in, they're not, I just see it right out here. So it tells me that it's something that pokes at you or gets in your way versus like actually um, getting inside your auric field because I see it outside. So you've got a really strong auric field, but it's still hindering you, I hear. Okay. So whew, we're just going to give it a minute. You let me know when you feel the relief or if you feel it shift so that. Um, I feel it. I felt it almost immediately. Okay. Yes. <laughs> there are a lot of outside entities and energies that, you know, it's their job 
I tell people it's their job to keep us from doing our job. <laughs> so it's like they'll go, can't you make it go away forever? All I can do is help you be stronger. I can help clear it out. Uh, but then you still have to stay strong. So kudos to you, Shelly, for having a strong energetic field because that that is all the difference. Otherwise, they would permeate and create even more problems. Yes. So um, that's, you know, that's really that good job. And uh, yes, well, we need kudos, right? We need to know we're doing, we're doing good stuff we and sure everything, <laughs> everything you're doing is working. That's a nice thing to know. It's not wasted time or energy. All right. So we're almost there. Um, we're cutting all permission. So for everyone, we uh, dissolve and cancel all permission that we have given subconsciously or consciously. Remember that lower energetics, lower vibrational beings are tricksters. That's your message. They are tricksters. They appear as things that you might associate as a positive because they are the trickster. Okay, so it's not actually for you, Shelly, but that is for some, some people out in the audience. So know that just because a being is talking to you, it may not be of the highest vibration. And so this is important to know. All right. Okay. All right. Now, let's see now. Do you feel that it's released? Oh, yeah. I felt the way it worked for me was straight on. I'm going down, but it was actually from my solar plexus all the way out. And I could feel a lift. I mean, I honestly could feel like a um, whoosh of light and air come out and clear right through my sternum all the way up. And that's the way it went, right through there. That's so, awesome. yes. <laughs> Yay. All Thank right. You. Yay. Good. I know, right? <sighs> Time yeah. for a party. All right. So now yeah. let's get to it now and let's see. All right. So you're showing me, this is an interesting uh, picture. We all know it. It's Little Red Riding Hood. What's important about this picture that you're showing me, <sighs> so it was about uh, Little Red Riding Hood, except for that it's not about Little Red Riding Hood. It's just, the, it's just the image that you're showing. So what it had to do with is you finding yourself out of the woods, finding your way out of the woods or out of the weeds. Like <sighs> for you, that's, and then it was about, um, I want to be a grown up girl is how you said it to me. So that was very <laughs> interesting. And I had, the last thing I said to you was, whatever that means, it means to you something. I want to be a grown up girl, but you want to find your way out of the woods. So this is, this is the issue that we're going to work on for you is helping you to find your way outside of the woods. Okay. Does that resonate? It seems like that must be resonating with you. Yes. 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 All right. So what you're showing me now, um, you're actually like painting a story. And so we're going to ask you to, release your storyboards because all of that is done. It is done. You've already done it. You have lived it. You've experienced it. And now those storyboards can be, let's call it, I hear laid to rest. We can lay them to rest and allow them to be the chapters that they were. And I'm sure this resonates with so many people, right? We hold on to our stories, not realizing that these stories are still running and influencing our current lives. So just take another deep breath for me. Oh, there was a big release. Good girl. All right. So now we say to you, Well, you're very funny first on the other side. So you said, <laughs> your higher self is very funny. Are you very funny in real life? I can be. <laughs> My husband may not agree, but yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> you have a very, um, it's not snarky. It's just very, it's, snarky. it's really, it's a great, it's a great <laughs> sense of humor. It's snarky. <laughs> See, I like snarky. No, it's a bear. Okay. So I find it quite hilarious. So you are, um, <laughs> so you're telling me on the other side, basically, that, um, okay, you've decided to be a grown-up girl now. So that's, that's the, the piece here is to say, you know what, all right, fine, I'm going to do it. And, and we're working now on, I'm going to call it, it's fear, but it isn't exactly fear. It's really interesting. You're very responsible as a person. However, you don't want the responsibility of right being a spiritual leader. And so it's kind of like, ah, gosh, well, hmm, right? And so this is the area that has to get re resolved for you. Yes. 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 It feels like ego. It isn't really. Um, for you, in particular, it's more, um, it happens in your current life too. It's, I don't want to have to carry everybody. And so this is... <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so all right, so we don't want to carry everybody, and we just don't want to sign up for that for the hundred and forty-four thousand plus whoever else you all want to throw on the wagon. Right? I know, I got gotcha. you. So this is about about you releasing. We're gonna release something different. Okay, so. It's releasing, let's call it the wagon, okay? So instead of this wagon being hitched to you, that you are pulling along to keep everybody with you and on the same path and doing what they need to do, right? So we're going to just unhitch the wagon. We're going to let everybody else walk, okay? So it's not an ego because you can and you're the best at it and you're so efficient and all these other platitudes that everybody tells you in order to keep you pulling the wagon. We're going to say, okay, we're good, right? We're going to let you all walk. So we're going to just let that work its way for you. We're going to let, pe we're going to let everybody walk. You're going to lead them, but you're going to let everybody walk on their own two feet and with their own, uh, their own deficits as well as their own skills and that as each one of them recognizes that this is really important what they're saying now as each person recognizes their deficit they become stronger in healing it okay if we allow them to recognize their own deficit meaning we're not pointing it out to them but that they are able to see it we empower them to release it and to become more powerful within themselves, which is beautiful as a gift to be able to give to others and lead them while they are doing it. That's really huge. So, wow. Just give it a minute till I hear that we're good. How do you feel? One question. I feel incredible. I mean, you, when the minute you said responsibility, I mean, that's been my whole Achilles and it's been my whole life. My question is though, how do you lead them? If you, how do you show them? How do you show them the way leading? If you're not telling them what their deficit may be, do you know what I mean? I do. It's loving them through it. I mean, Got it. you know, I had to learn um, that I didn't have to solve everyone's problem. And 
even if I know the answer or I, I'm being told the answer, you know, uh, somebody asked me recently, well, I don't, um, they asked me, I was actually at a friend's house and they said to me, so do you like just tap into everybody and like know everything about them or whatever? And I was like, absolutely not. Mm -mm. First of all, I'm not interested. Secondly, it's too much work. And third, it's a complete invasion of privacy. And each person has whatever they have. If somebody comes to me and we are doing a session or whatever, then absolutely I will connect. Just like I got all of your permission to do this work tonight, right? So it's the same idea. It's like we, we're not in charge of fixing everybody. First of all, not everybody is on this path, right? And when they recognize you, they will seek you out. And then they will come to you asking for the assistance that they need. Otherwise, you're just out there as a leader and people, just like people here on the show tonight, you tap in and you feel, does it resonate with me? Do I feel it? Do I, whatever it is that you're needing. And until you find that next person to assist you, you know, you kind of keep looking. So we're not here to point it out to each person. We're just here to be there when they need us and to lead the rest of the time and just to provide the example. My, my greatest example I personally feel is that I'm just human. I'm just a regular woman. I've got three kids, a house, a husband, two dogs. You know, I'm just living the life, right? I, I work every day at a regular job. I do this spiritual work because it's my calling and I love it, right? But I'm just ordinary. I get annoyed. And to me, the biggest bonus is that I move through the annoyance quickly or I get, a, a, you know, pissed off, but thankfully it doesn't last long and it's not, you know, I'm not dangerous to anybody or anything. It just, you know, you, but you recognize being human and you accept that we are, we are. I feel like that's the biggest issue for spiritual people is we have a really hard time being human and, and appreciating this and what we have here. So you are going to lead through your heart, just loving them. When people have a hard time, it's what I've said for years now. We send love from our hearts and light from source. This is recently my most recent mantra that came to me one morning. And it was like, you know what? That's brilliant. Cause again, that's allowing them to stand on their own two feet. Send, I send you love from my heart and light from source and, that's the greatest gift we can give. It's beautiful. Right? Yes. Perfect. Spot on. Spot yeah. on. Thank See, and you. And that's what makes this so much fun. See, now you know I love doing it because it's so awesome to see that you are lighter and you feel oh, that. Relief. Oh, yeah. Thank very you. much. Thank you. Very, very much. Love oh. you. Love you, sweetie. Thank you, Shelly. Love you, too. Thank you. So everyone, thank you so much. I just love, love, love you and appreciate you and am honored that you're here with me. Mm -hmm.